Hello everybody, uh, Jesse here. I'm gonna review Ring Zero Birthday. Directed by, let me get this up here, uh, no, Royal Tatsaruta. Butchered that probably. Ring Zero, if not, is probably the best prequel I have ever seen in a film franchise series. Uh, a little redundant, I know, but. It really came off genuine, good, and it fits like a glove into the series, unlike prequels that have come out lately, lately thing. Um, uh, and it, it really, it really ties together nicely with the other films. You, and the main thing that this film gets right, it gets right that you feel for the character of Sadako, the wild ghost, the aquatic demonness who appears in the well to kill you from your TV screen. And, uh... This film, other... Sh sh uh, shouts out other references in the film. Uh, films and stuff like implements of... of recording devices. And, uh, things that are able to pick up her psychic and ESP powers. And really, it really comes off at how much that, uh, the netherworld can pick up on these such delicate instruments that I think is really kinda cool. And, uh... It's not a horror film. It has horror elements into it, but I, at its core, I think it's really much a drama slash romance type film. And 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 so far, when you're going through this film, you become to care for these characters because they are so sweet and genuine. And, and it's heartbreaking when you get to the end of the film because you know the outcome. And if you've seen the films prior to this, you, it's gonna be fucking harsh, and it is. Uh, it's really kind of neat. Uh, it, it really plays upon the fear of the unknown, how people react to Sedeco. Uh H.P. Lovecraft said, I'm paraphrasing here, uh, man's uh, oldest emotion is fear, and uh, fear of the unknown. Uh, and the fear is of the unknown. Something like that, to that effect. And there truly are the acting troupe that she's with, the reporter that stalks her, is very much uh, Frankenstein's monster that humans will destroy what they don't understand and they will fear it and cower before it and react violently toward it. Uh, and, and it's truly heartbreaking because it's not her fault. She was born this way, she has no control over her powers, though we do find out some new ones that could really, really show that she could have been potential and a force for good. And it's heartbreaking that her, uh, her uh, darker half uh, took over her because some stupid actors attacked her and um, misunderstood her intentions and stuff like that. So it's so much lost potential and it's heartbreaking. And you really do like the romance between her and uh, the recording booth guy, uh, to uh, Toyama. Uh, Sadoko and Toyama is probably one of the few genuine couples on a film I've seen in a long time. You know, uh, probably uh, the Korean film Thirst was another one. That was another kind of sad ending to a film. A lot of Asian stories kind of end like that. That was a uh, Korean film, I believe. And a, a lot of Asian culture fairy tales and stories do have a sad Molly Cullen, but even at the happiest, it is still a bitter ending. Um, even though it is a happy ending, uh, <laughs> pardon my tale there. Ending. Uh, but it, it, it will have a tinge of sadness to it, and this film definitely is chock full of it. And um, I'd say go back and watch the other films. Watch, watch them in order: Ring Zero, Ring, Ring Two, uh, Razin's not canon. Uh, and I'd say that it fits like a glove. It is fluent and it works. And it just, uh, it was really kind of neat how uh, her, her. Uh, there's two of her, there's a good version of her, who's a grown-up, and there's an evil version of her, who's a child. And, uh, child version is able to use astral projection as a weapon and kill people. And, uh, it seems that this form, while in the well, she used this power to imbue a videotape of her curse upon it, and her hatred and her wrath and her rage onto this because she was wronged by a group of people. And, uh, very much like Sauron from Lord of the Rings, he put so much of himself into this ring, this inanimate object, that once it was, uh, cut from his body, he died. So, so much, she put so much of her power into this videotape 
uh, her she died after the well in the well after thirty years of darkness, torment, and eating of snails and Oh, it's fucking heartbreaking when you know when she is such a lovable character and this happens to her. Um Yeah. I say, uh, yeah, this is probably it for me in the ring films, uh, right now. We'll probably move on to something more North American based. American based or Western based, as it were. And, uh, I'm not gonna check out the American films just yet, maybe next year or sometime down the road. Because I don't feel like being it past, I don't, I don't feel like it being bastardized at this moment because this was such a good film. Happy Halloween, everybody. And, uh, the forces of darkness become confused on your house.